digital SAT math flashcards, symbolic completing the square. To solve these types of problems, we'll use the exact steps that we learned about in a previous short. The only difference being, we'll encounter some constants, so the algebra will be just a little tougher to follow. Take a second to pause this video and write this question down, which we'll solve on the following slides. First, we'll check to make sure that the lead coefficient is 1. I notice there's a 2 in front of both of these trinomials, so we'll divide every single term by 2. Next, we'll organize the equation, and then we'll complete the square by adding b over 2 squared. For the x's, we will add 25p squared to both sides. And for the y's, we will add 9p squared to both sides. Now we can factor both trinomials, and if we did it right, they should form perfect squares. Now we can hold up this equation to the equation of a circle. We see that the center is negative 5p comma 3p, and that r squared is equal to 9p squared. Now we can recall that the question told us that r was equal to 12, and we can substitute. We get 144 is equal to 9p squared. We divide both sides by 9, and we get 16 is equal to p squared. Then we take the square root of both sides, and we get p is equal to plus or minus 4. Because the question told us p was a positive constant, we will go with p is equal to positive 4. Now that we know the value of p, we can comfortably answer the follow-up question. If p is equal to 4 and the center is negative 5p comma 3p, that means the center is negative 20 comma 12, and a plus b will be equal to negative 20 plus 12, which is equal to negative 8. If you have time, it would be wise to check the value of your constant by graphing the problem on Desmos and seeing if the circle you get makes sense. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSET math concept.